go further. If you are this type of guy who's like, oh, I got a lot of female friends, you are attributing to something that I'm going to bring to your awareness in just one second here. Because I'm going to need to take a sip here. Hold on for a moment. You are attributing to the system of debauchery, faithlessness, discontent, and non-virtuous women. Let me tell you how. All right? Let me tell you how. Let's say that I'm this guy who's with a woman that you used to be with. Let's put it like that for a moment, right? It never, it's not going to happen that way, but I'll tell you this. If it was, and you are her friend, you're her best friend, okay? And what's happening, what would happen is she'll say, oh, well, Morpheus, here's my friend over here named, uh, what's it, what, uh, 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 Chris. This is my friend, Chris. This is how she would present it to me. This is what this is what she would say. Well, I know Chris since uh, the high school or since grade school. Yeah, you know, we hooked up on Facebook again, and he's all right. He's cool. Basically, like what Tom Lycus said, you don't have to worry about Chris, right? And you're this guy. You know, you this blue pill beta, right? And you know you had a spin. You had the spin of her once upon a time. She know that you have had the spin of her once upon a time. You're her ex-boyfriend. And as a matter of fact, you're still her boyfriend. You're just on the web and only called a friend as a fake title. But because you are still in her life, you are still her boyfriend. You're just on the back burner. You're just stuck on the web. I'm her new prey. Do you understand? So why could how could you be a man? Listen. How could you be a man or an adult or responsible enough to sit there and let her do another man like that and not speak up and say, oh, no, 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 uh -uh. I'm the ex or herself saying, no, this is my ex-boyfriend and we're just so happy to be friends. Don't worry. Don't talk. Don't worry about him. You know why y'all not going to say that? You know why she's not going to tell me that you are actually her ex-boyfriend? Because she know I am not going to tolerate it. And as a blue pill beta, you yourself should not tolerate that. But you can be so dumb sometime and childish where you know what you'll say? Oh, well, he's okay with it. So I'm still going to be in her life as her friend. And she he needs to just get over it. Okay, so wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Pump your brakes. Shut your mouth and pump the brakes. If you can't pump your brakes, get the hell out of here. Pump it right now and shut the up. Right now. Listen. If you ever sit there and say, well, she needs if she's if she's going to get rid of me as her friend because she wants to be with a new boyfriend, she's wrong. Okay, let's switch to re let's reverse this then. So you are the guy and you got this new girlfriend who is with her ex boyfriend but she's still with him because she's calling him her friend but she's actually just holding on to him should you fail so you're saying that that's an all right situation so you so basically you are okay you're okay to be only a part of the circle why don't y'all just go ahead and just get together why don't listen okay you want to be dumb like that why don't all three of y'all just make a family you and both of you and her how about that all right, you want to be so weak and childish. Why don't you go ahead and say, well, let's both of us be her boyfriend then. Right? And you go ahead and get with him while he's getting with her. And y'all be happy for the rest of your life. Because that's how dumb and childish it is. You are to detach yourself from that person. I do not stand by an ex-lover being a friend. Absolutely not. And you guess what? An, somebody who's an opposite sex to you. And they are a friend. I don't tolerate that either. Even if you say, oh, we've been together for a long time and he's cool. Don't worry about him. You know what the thing is? How come I'm not your friend? Okay. Yes, men cannot be a friend like a female friend. You should have female friends like what Tom Likas was talking about. What's the problem? They're having female friends. Listen, here's it's a lot of information. 
And I know I seem like I'm jumping from subject to subject, but this is a lot to eat. It's like eating a very, very thick steak. And when you do that, your jaws get tired. Okay, but you want the steak. So I'm trying to be careful here. If she cannot be friends with females, with her own kind, if she can't have female friends, but all she has men, all she have is male friends, that's a sign right there that you need to run. All right, get what you want from this girl and close the deal. Close the deal and keep it moving. Because this girl is going to be a problem for you. And the moment you check her on and say, no, 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 no. I'm not going to get with you because you have boyfriend number one, two, three, four, and five. She'll say, those are not my boyfriend. Those are my friends. Okay, what child are immature emotional individual know that there are wolves standing around them in man closing they are wolves to her oh they're my friend no they're wolves waiting for the opportunity and she knows it you want to know why guess guess i'm gonna tell you why the web is not only emotional it's called validation it's called validation and attention attention is her currency men do you not get it it's her currency no matter how much of an alpha or red pill or dude you think you are how much how much, how much you make in a month or a year attention is her currency so she's going to secure that and put a stamp on it and say oh well they will never understand because men are retards anyway so i'm just going to say they're my friends and most of the blue pill, loft-handed, soft, backwards-walking, twisted tie, smelly, bad breath-looking dude is going to say, okay. No, here we go. Okay, okay, I'll do it. Okay, if that's the only way for me to be your boyfriend, okay, I'll sign up. Okay. Okay, Bert. You're a dummy, and somebody should tell you. Anyhow, as I can continue, I cannot because I have to finish this subject and it's already getting out of hand 40 minutes. All right. And I, I hate to disappoint you as your professor here, but this is too much. And if you're upset, too bad, because I really cannot give you the left hook on this like I want to because it's too much. I have to be honest with you, Neo. It's too much for me to talk about right now. It's too much. So there's no need to debate or get upset because this is a lot. But when she says that, well, when you say you're OK with her having guy friends. OK, most likely you have girlfriends and you don't mind catching STDs. All right. You don't mind her if she is uh, when she gets tired of you and she's not happy with you for her to be with her ex-boyfriend in the name of being a friend. And come back to you with a seed in her womb and seeds everywhere else in her mouth and give it to you because you're dumb because you are immature that's what you're saying because you're doing the same thing right this is how we are at a sick pace in our communities and in America because y'all mindless okay donkey dunking is not worth it the thing is about me and my standing is if listen the whole point is safety. Do you got it? It's safety. Put a stamp on it. That's the whole point. And do not trust them. You can't trust them. They was proven to be wrong. They've been proven over the years. It has been evidence up to your eyeballs that if they're telling you this is my friend, nine times out of ten, they already had fun. And nine times out of 10, that's going to be boyfriend number two. That's going to come up right behind you and share her with you. Therefore, all bets should be off of the table. Absolutely not. Only boys who've never grew up with a father in their lives will be comfortable with that. No, you cannot be a friend to her like a female can be a friend to her. But being a guy friend, that's what you are for. 
if she can't be with you riding on your sissy bar Harley Davidson, if she can't if she can't be sitting nicely quietly while she's sipping on her Long Island iced tea when you out there at a pub shooting shooting pool with the fellas. If she can't be quiet and figure out something to do at home while you are there playing chess or whatever that you're doing with your homeboys in the front room or Madden or Halo or whatever the hell you do. OK, she's not the one for you, because guess what? What is she going to want from you 24 hours, seven days a week? Attention. Focus on me. Attention. Take me somewhere. Why don't you do for me? Do for me. Do for me. Do for me. Do for me. You should be the man and say, what are you going to do for me? Um, um, well, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, 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 uh I'll grease my knees. <laughs> I'll grease my knees. You got 30 minutes. Like, no, ba baby, sweetheart. Um, that's nice. But guess, you know what? I can I can actually get somebody to do that if I wanted them to. And I can I can make several phone calls. I can I can uh, I can make my way around there. I need a little bit more than that. How about being honorable and virtuous and consistent? Why not just just chill and just be here? Huh? Why not just just be a be my girl friend who's really my girlfriend and be committed without me needing to play a clown for you and putting a clown nose on and taking you around town and spoiling you like every other guy who have come before me have done. Because some of you guys understand too, a woman is like a like putty for a minute before she matures she's like putty so when she comes to you she expects for you to do what her ex-boyfriends have done she expects for you to be just like him and therefore she'll come to you with guidelines and and uh, rules and regulations and what you are supposed to be doing as a man and because all you want to do is score you will go along with it and what she do is warp you and web you just like she did film and call you up five months later or a year later or you hang out with her and all you are is just some type of partner for her while she's continuing playing with her web until time runs out until the wall hits until another bigger bird or a bigger bug come along and take her off the web altogether and you never see her again The problem with these situations is that men support it. Blue pill guys like that big lip guy sitting in a chair with his mouth open and the so-called religious bigot piety, twisted piety of a dude, right? Supporting bad behavior, but that they, they call themselves men. Oh yeah, I'm tough. I'm, yeah, man, no, I'm the head of my house. But like, no, you're not. No, you're not. You're not even the head of your situation. You have no idea what you are in. You got to stamp it because if you do not apply the rules to it, you'll find yourself, you will find yourself with the itchy scratchy. You will find yourself in a bad situation. You, what you're doing is you're allowing the enemy to seep in one step at a time. The enemy to be in your life one inch at a time to encroach on your relationship. Oh, yeah, I got guy friends. Oh, yep. Okay, the doors are open. They're going to encroach and eventually they're going to take over your kingdom and you'll never know why. The enemy is not going to come in with obvious weapons drawn in your face. They're going to come in an inch at a time underneath a different name, a different title and un what do you call that? Um, undetectable. Undetectable. But if you are Neo and you are you are in your manhood zone and you got instincts, you can see them before they even approach. Oh, um. This is my fitness instructor. He wants to take me this weekend and show me extra exercises on the weekend. You should be the man be like, no, nah, uh-uh, wait a minute. No, nah, I don't think so. And guess what? The guy will come to you and shake your hands, right? And he seemed like this old nice blue pill beta guy with glasses on and a suit. Thinking, oh, well, he's not like me. She'd never be interested in that guy. But the moment she get the opportunity, that black widow is going to strike. And you're going to find yourself alone and she's going to be taking you and the kids away from you and she'll be with that fitness instructor. 
and you're the dumb donkey who don't know anything all over again because you didn't and you could not find your man card because you're too childish. Follow me on part two. I didn't mean for this to be too long, but I told you it's a lot. I've already gave you forewarning ahead of time. Follow me on part two. Got me? And we will finish this lesson in the Academy of Wowman. <laughs>